Shalom, my name is Unsu and this is the testimony of my near-death experience and that of my wife Dorothy. On Monday morning, 29 of July 2019, I had blood in my stool and in the evening, I took some photos of the beautiful sunset and posted them on the Facebook with the caption, Beyond the sunset when the day is done. I somehow felt like that could be my last day. Shortly after dinner, I started to pass out blood and I quickly checked into the ICU of Pantai Hospital at midnight. But I kept praying the Shepherd Psalm 23. The Lord is my shepherd and even though I was going through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil and I was reassured that God is with me. I was put on drip plus medication to clean up my stomach but I kept on discharging blood hourly. You see, after 20 years of taking Cardiprin as a blood thinner, my stomach wall has eroded badly. And he said that the steroid from the Chinese herb could have triggered the bleeding too. My insurance agent told me that she has never seen anyone that came out from the ICU clean. And in fact, I look better than my visitors. Indeed, 2019 was a year of miracles which God impressed upon my wife. She had lung cancer operation in May 2018, but then the tumor spread to the limb nodes and to the spine, then both her lungs and right to her brain. So she went through a gamma knife brain surgery in August 2019. And during a three-hour surgery inside the cylindrical drum, God answered her prayer and she felt the presence of God to keep her still throughout the surgery. And praise the Lord, the delicate surgery was successful. She then started her oral chemo. However, due to the very bad side effect from the oral chemo drug, she had prolonged extreme diarrhea and was admitted to the hospital twice. She almost died on her second admission in November 2019 as her blood pressure fell to a very low level. God led her to request for my gastro doctor. Her oncologist then switched her to the third generation of chemo drug. Praise the Lord, her latest results in January 27, uh, 2021 was the best ever. All the brain tumors were gone that's another miracle indeed. In fact, my wife counseled my niece uh, six months after her own lung cancer operation. My niece had an ovarian cancer operation and uh, she later introduced her friend's mother Irene who had fourth stage lung cancer and counseled her for a year and told her to memorize and meditate on Psalm 23. My wife and I visited her in Pantai Hospital the night before she passed away last year. She was asked to give an eulogy during the week, and the pastor shared a message from Psalm 23. It was like Irene speaking to us from heaven, and God worked in a mysterious way, and His timing is perfect. My niece is also completely healed of her ovarian cancer. Praise the Lord. All things work for good for those who love Him, who have been called according to His purpose. Romans 8.28 To God be the glory. Amen. If you have experienced God in action and would like to be a part of this project, please send us a WhatsApp message to the number displayed or email us at info at We hope these stories will strengthen and encourage you throughout the week.